What is going on YouTube? Hannah back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. We definitely have some good news and some interesting things happening on the forefront for cryptocurrency here. As you guys know, yesterday's video, I made a very important one, basically saying it's XRP ripple decision time. Be careful. XRP is at its breaking point. We need a decision. You can see right here, I said XRP is making a move right now. This is crazy. Exactly what we're talking about. Out. And you can clearly see I've highlighted and shown the fact that we were retesting a beautiful resistance level, a support on most of these cryptocurrencies inside what appears to be a bull flag. And as quickly as I said that, you can see we're finally getting the results that we've been looking for here. Inside our beautiful bull flag that we've been tracking for weeks now, weeks on end, we've been waiting for a price to break us through and start the rally to the upside here, which is very exciting to me. We've been waiting for this patiently, and it seems like it is finally starting. This is very, 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 very good news for XRP. However, before we get too excited, you can see in the past here, we have seen us wick above here. We've definitely wicked above here in the past. What we're looking for specifically is for the price to close today above here. We need to close above this downtrend here. If we can close above this major uh, blue resistance level, then we are in the clear to be buying in long, which is very exciting here. But with the surge of volume that we see today, there's a very good chance that that's going to happen. Now, the other cryptocurrencies are still floating, teeter-tottering, possibilities of correction to the downside, something we have to talk about. Same thing with Bitcoin, also falling lower here. We have yet to confirm what could be you know, a bottom support. So we are going to be looking at that. And today we are kind of bouncing off the uh, bottom support here on the S&P 500. Still looking at the weekly here, you can see the uptrend is holding on very well as we uh, kind of are retaining this uptrend moving across with the moving average here. You can see they are both holding on pretty well. So I'm excited to see that. Now, with all that being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's dive into today's episode. So guys, diving into today's video, you can see top 10 cryptocurrencies. Markets are down 1.3% except for, I believe, XRP. You can see Bitcoin is down 1.6. We have BNB down 0.4. Uh, Ethereum's down 0.8. We're not seeing much of a movement at all within most of the major cryptos. However, we are seeing XRP explode up. You can see over the past week, we've had nothing but flatline consolidation. It's actually pretty incredible to see how uh, you know the markets have been reacting to this. Flatlined out. I mean, it don't get any weirder looking than this when you have one of the most volatile cryptocurrencies completely sidelined, if not the entire market completely sidelined here. You can see flatline. You can see Ethereum flatlined out. You can see uh, BNB flatlined out, except for XRP. And then everything else is pretty much just stagnating sideways. So it's pretty incredible to see all these movements here, uh, if you ask me. Now, moving forward, you can see we've had a direct impact on XRP. This is something we've been tracking, waiting for. I'm super excited and super happy. You can see if I type in bull flag crypto, you can see exactly what we're referencing here if this loads for me. What's crazy about this is when you look at a pattern like a bull flag, you can see how it pretty much starts and the movements here. So this is a textbook movement that we like to track here on uh, Crypto TV. You can see a beautiful flagpole forming here, the prevailing trend, the consolidation into what appears to be the flag. And then we have the continuation pattern to the upside. This is exactly what we're seeing within XRP. And it's super exciting if you ask me. Beautiful reference here. I'll draw it again. Uptrend, the consolidation, the breakout here is exactly like we're referencing here. So I'm super excited that this pattern is happening here. We did discuss in depth that this is a solid support that we do need to reference here as we've had resistances and supports being retested in the past. So the goal, fingers crossed, was that we would hold on to this support level and use it to potentially rally to the upside. Now, yesterday we figured maybe we'd see some consolidation into here, then maybe a break to the upside. And we pretty much discussed in depth in yesterday's video that we would more so just use the downtrend and the price floor as a means to when to buy in, as this would gauge when the buy-in opportunity would be. And we specifically said, if we close below our price floor of 36, we buy in for a short. If we close above this major resistance here, we buy in for a long, and that's what we're going to do. Now, we haven't officially confirmed it. If you wanna play it aggressive, obviously you can take advantage of this, you know, do what you want here. But as a conservative trader, we need to wait for confirmation closure here because even if we, you know, confirm closing, even if we break out to the size that we are now, if we just extend this over here, we have 
plenty, and I mean plenty of room and movement to move to the upside here. So even a confirmation closer here opens up 15% profits, especially uh, even more profits if we do so on BidFi, the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I like to use here on the channel. BidFi, for those that don't know, is the revamp name for BitYard, no longer BitYard, now called BidFi for the new year here. Basically, BidFi offers Bitcoin, Ethereum, all the major blue chip cryptocurrencies, Polkadot, Chainlink, Cardano, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, Ethereum Classic, Ethereum Tron. I mean, the list goes on for the blue chips. And then they have all the, you can see altcoins here, but they have XRP which is the biggest thing, especially for this channel. So the fact that they offer XRP makes them extremely unique compared to other cryptocurrencies. You can buy long, sell short, leverage trade, create stop losses, take profits short. Everything you could possibly think of is offered on BidFight, which is incredible. Not only that, but like I said before, many, many, many weeks ago, and I've referenced it ever since, that we've bought in for a long position on uh XRP, when we on on the weekly here, when we confirmed closure right here, 38 cents, when we finally confirmed, if you guys remember, but uh, breaking below or sorry, above this major purple downtrend here in the descending triangle, the second we confirmed a break above here, when we closed at 38 cents, that's when I bought in for a you know, a potential long position. Now, no leverage, but I just expect the markets to carry it itself to the upside. Well, I did that using you know, bid fi, and I did so by using the spot order here, and I clicked classic, and I was able to buy XRP just to hold on to. I sent either Bitcoin or USDT to bid fi, and then I bought, converted it into uh, XRP, and I'm now just holding on to it. So I'm very excited to see how this plays out. You can obviously transfer this off uh, to a ledger or something like that too, if you feel the need to, which I recommend doing. But um, that's how I've been able to buy and hold on to XRP. But I do expect to see, even on the weekly charts here, now that we've confirmed breaking here, a rally to the upside closer to. A about 59 cents, maybe as high as 95 cents in the long term here, but it's going to take a while. Like this could easily take into November or the end, December of 2023 here. But regardless, I do believe we're on an uptrend and I do believe we are going to be going up. So I'm very excited to see that. Moving forward from XRP, obviously doing it on BidFi, like I was saying here, you can see the massive jump now to 40 cents, which is absolutely incredible to see this. We're pumping as I speak right now, but you can see in order to capitalize off of this, like I said, you can buy in long, but the cool thing is if you don't want to take the risk, you can obviously use their demo account, which gives you $100,000 in Monopoly money to test your skills without any risk. The website is completely free to sign up and the demo account is completely free to use, risk-free as well, which makes it a great opportunity to learn from on that. Now, with that also being said, uh, the best part about BidFi is the fact that they are now offering a uh, reward of $2,888 in sign-up bonuses, which you can get completely free by signing up the link down in the description, or you can click Welcome Rewards if you've already signed up with the link down below, maybe a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago. Click Welcome Rewards to earn and claim your bonuses, which is awesome as well. Moving forward, Ethereum. And Bitcoin here uh, don't be aren't looking too good until we see you know the S and P move up. Ethereum and Bitcoin are looking pretty bearish right now. And honestly, I've said it in the past. I was thinking that ever since we've rallied like this, we've needed to come back down to moving average. I think that's going to happen very soon. I think it's going to happen honestly now. I think we're going to come back down to this here, and the moving average is going to come up, and we're going to retest it, and then we'll rebound off of it like that. Um, as, I, as I've said before, we haven't had an uptrend confirmation. We have a resistance up here, retesting resistances consistently, but we haven't found a bottom support. Reason being is there's only two confirmations. There's a lot more confirmations on the top, very little on the bottom here. So I am going to be deleting these because clearly they're not holding on that well. Uh, there's clearly an uptrend. We found the resistance. We have not found the support. And that's what we're looking for because it could very easily be transitioned like this. We could go from here. We can go from here. I don't know yet. So I'm not going to draw it on until we get confirmation and we see some sort of reversal. But until then, I'm just going to, you know, wait it out for right now. That being said, smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.